What's going on, everybody? We're going to be talking about the Golden State Warriors right now because uh, people have been asking me questions about, you know, talking about the Western Conference Finals and things like that, even though we already know that they've swept the Spurs, mainly because, you know, uh, Kawhi Leonard was injured. But that's neither here nor there. I still believe that the Warriors have way too much talent and they would have still beaten the Spurs, even with Kawhi. But it's just the fact right now, we got to talk about history. The way the Golden State Warriors are playing, they have a, okay, let's just put it like this. They got they got also they got a lot of all-stars on their team, right? They got so many all-stars that Klay Thompson is not considered an all-star, which in my opinion doesn't really make much sense because the dude is a great defender, great shooter. I think he I think he's I don't know, I I, I think he's up there as one of the you know one of the best guards um in the league, even though he hasn't made an all-star team, whatever like that. I just think that because of so it's so much talent on the team, it's very, very difficult for him to um, you know, to out, you know, to be up there with the other guys because people are not gonna you got Durant you got Curry you got Draymond there's a lot of things going on right there so um, it's very very difficult for that but just looking at the overall team and the way the chemistry is if this team is able to sweep the Cavs now even if it's like 4-1 if, if they brutalize the Cavs they will probably be the greatest team ever in NBA history and I'm gonna tell you why LeBron James I don't know if you can really argue that he's the greatest player in the world. And he has two other All-Stars certified on his team. Now, I know it's like a heavyweight matchup with, with two stacked teams going against each other. But it's something about the fact that the Warriors felt that they, need to, they needed to bring in another All-Star to beat LeBron James. Let's just be clear about it. The only reason KD is on this team is because LeBron James is there on the other side. There's no other reason for them to have taken KD other than that. The basis of what I'm trying to make you guys understand is this. The Golden State Warriors had the chance to make history in a lot of different ways. First of all, they haven't lost, right? And I think they were talking about the Lakers and some other couple teams have done that, whatever, just gone through the uh, first three rounds, just didn't give an F about the teams, beat the hell out of them. Let me, let me just make it be very, very clear. LeBron James, the only pass that I give him, he only gets the pass when he was really, really young and he got swept by the uh, Spurs early in his career when he was with the Cavaliers way back, right? Right now, he has a team around him that should be able to compete with anyone. Obviously, they lost the game, and people think that that might have been a misstep, but I think it actually works in their favor because it'll keep them fresh coming into um, the finals, which you have to wait another eight whatever amount of days afterwards before it starts. The Warriors are really, really clicking right now. They are a very, very dangerous team. And I cannot stress the fact that the Cavaliers have been put together like strategically by LeBron James. And that's another reason why a lot of the old school athletes have a problem with him is because he pretty much built the team that he wanted. So now that you have what you what you wanted, if you come out there and get abused by the Golden State Warriors, people are gonna look at that kind of crazy. And they do, I'm telling you right now, when you compare this team to any other type of team, because they're not only finesse, they play great defense. So you can put them up against anybody. And I know people are like, yeah, back in the day, you could punch somebody in the face, it wasn't a foul. We're not talking about that. You're looking at some of the greatest shooters in Klay Thompson and Steph Curry that the NBA has ever seen. They just swept a Greg Popovich team. I don't care if Kawhi Leonard was on, wasn't on the court. Doesn't matter. They just swept the Spurs. That means something when you're looking at coaching and history with Greg Popovich. If they are, if they beat, look, if they brutalize the Cavaliers, I want to hear your arguments. Leave it in the comments. Who would you put, because I'm telling you right now, it doesn't matter. I, I think they would beat the Bulls. I think they would beat the Bulls in, in, with, with Jordan. Listen, Jordan's going to get his points, but there's too much. And I know Pippen was a defensive guru. I would have to put them up there, bro. I don't know. I'm willing to see what you guys are willing to say. How high would you put the Warriors up if they're able to sweep the Cavaliers? I'm very, very interested to know this. Leave it in the comments. Thank you for watching. Like the video, share, subscribe. I'll see you guys and girls next time. One love.